Hi, I'm Tina Costello. I'm the CEO of the Heart of England Community Foundation. The part I play in Operation War Thunder is Gary's awful boss. It is most definitely something I have never done before, but I was very excited to be offered the opportunity. If I hadn't have had a career in charity, I've always fancied myself as a bit of a Julie Walters. So it was just such fun. So thank you so much for letting me be part of it. Playing the character of Gary's boss, I have to say, was quite alien to me. I mean, I can't imagine that anybody would speak to somebody like that in the workplace. But, but for me, it was quite difficult. I don't know, there are times that I wasn't quite angry enough. But uh, once I got into the role, you know, it was good fun. But what's really important is that the underlying message is about mental health and I really wanted to take part in this. Yes, you can call it a spoof, but there are some real messages throughout this film. And I just, I did love being a part of it, um, but playing somebody that couldn't be further from me, I suppose is what an actor's job is, isn't it? So I'm just looking forward to the next opportunity, thanks. I don't really know where to start with the personality of the boss. Um, she is the epitome of how a manager should not behave. Lack of empathy, lack of care, lack of concern. To see somebody that you work for is struggling. From my perspective, all she really cared about was the fact that he was underperforming, but not once did she ever bother to ask him why that might be. I feel she significantly impacted on his mental health and clearly he was already in quite a fragile state. So absolutely awful. I don't think it's always easy to identify if somebody's having mental health problems. I think what people would generally try and do is hide it. But ultimately for me, if I saw a colleague who's normally quite bubbly and loud and suddenly they become quite withdrawn and introvert, that would be a red flag for me to maybe go and have, well, definitely go and try and have a conversation with that person. People who are having increased levels of sickness when they don't normally, maybe odd days, I would explore. And that's a really good point. If somebody's on sick and they come back, I think a good manager, the first thing you should open that conversation is, is there anything that I can do to help? Is there anything that we can help towards your mental health and your physical well-being? So for me, signs of personality changes, people not turning up for work, and people generally being unhappy. And what you'd need to establish is whether it's the workload or work stress, whether it's personal, but I do think that both of these are very interlinked because you generally spend quite a lot of time at work. You should have check-ins, check-ins where no minutes are made and no moats are made, just half an hour, a well-being check-in, how you're doing, try and tease out how that person is feeling, making sure that everything's okay out of work and in the workplace. Um, I think for us, we are now inviting colleagues to have mental health first aid or training, having people in the office that have that skill to see, because sometimes, as I've said, it can be hidden. And what you don't want is to the person like Gary to get to that crisis point and literally thinking that they've got nowhere to go. You know, I think that the organisation, the manager has a role, but I do think that the employee has a role too. So I would suggest as a foot, 
what's available, what's available to access through the company I work for, do they have an employee assistance program? But ultimately, you should seek medical advice and go to your GP and start that process. Thank you.